In this video, I'm going to be ranking the best point guards in NBA 2K22 my team. We have a tier list here ranking from S all the way down to D tier. And in my S tier is going to be my top five point guards in the game. The first point guard on the tier list is going to be Invincible Cade Cunningham. As much as I want to put him in the A tier or S tier, I think he's low-key got to be in B tier. Maybe we, maybe we move him up to A tier a little bit later in the tier list. I just, I don't personally like this Cade card. Yes, he's a point guard shooting guard, six foot eight tall with a seven foot one wingspan. That's obviously going to be really, really nice at the point guard spot. And he's going to be an invincible. So 65 Hall of Fame badges. And then he's also going to have that 99 every single stat. For me, my problem with Cade is going to be the jump shot. I think is a little bit slow for your point guard and your main ball handler. And they didn't give him the best of SIGs. Yes, he's got some decent SIGs like D-Mitch size up, Kobe escape. They're definitely not bad SIGs, but he could have got maybe D Rose escape or D Rose size up, or maybe a thing like Trey Escape. Overall, though, I think K Cunningham is a very solid point guard. And now I'm thinking about it, he's probably going to be in that A tier category. Next point guard is going to be Dark Matter Andre Iguodala. And I think he's going to go in C tier. He's definitely worse than K, but I think for a budget option, Iguodala is still pretty decent. He's a point guard shooting guard, six foot six tall with a six foot eleven wingspan. Now Iguodala is going to be an amazing defender. 94 interior, 98 perimeter, 98 steel with a 95 block. And overall, his stats are pretty much like an invincible card. When we look at the animation screen, he's going to actually have a pretty decent jump shot. He does have some not very good sigs though, only having the quick dribble style and the Scotty Pippen behind the back. Next point guard on the tier list is going to be the new Dark Matter Dyson Daniels. Guys, this, this dude, this Dyson dude is literally insane in my team. I don't know if you guys even know who this is. He got drafted this year. Dyson Daniels is, is an absolute bucket in my team. He's probably like a top three, top four point guard in the game. He's a point guard shooting guard, six foot eight tall with a seven foot wingspan. He is just a better Cade Cunningham. This is what I thought Cade would look like with his stats and badges. Obviously going to be very similar, but when we come to the animation screen, he's going to have that quick dribble style D Rose size up, which is a massive, massive difference to Donovan Mitchell size up on Cade Cunningham. They both have the Kobe escape, which is similar, and they both have the Scotty Pippen behind the back. But then when you look at the jump shot, Dyson Daniels is going to have XM base, Kemba Walker upper on very quick release timing. And he's also got the normal leaner. So Dyson Daniels got a better jump shot than Cade and he's got a little bit better SIGs. But I do think Dyson Daniels is going to be in that S tier category. Next point guard is going to be Dark Matter Curry. I mean, as much as he's a fun card to use, I can't put him higher than C tier. He's just obviously going to be undersized. Lonzo Ball Dark Matter, I think is in B tier. I actually think Lonzo is going to be in that B tier category. Lonzo is actually a very underrated point guard in the game. Maybe I'm a little bit biased just because I love Lonzo Ball in my team. Like I just play really good with the cards. But I think honestly, he's an amazing defender. He's going to give you such good defense on the court. Yes, offensively, not going to have the best dribble six at all. And not having the best jump shot definitely does hurt the card. But I will say he's still going to be in B tier. And I would, rush, I would much rather run Lonzo over a guy like Iguodala. Next uh, point guard here is going to be Larry Johnson. And I think he's kind of on that same level as Lonzo. Looking at Larry Johnson here on 2KDB. I'm not exactly sure what his size up and what his animations are. I do want to quickly check that. So what's his animations? Yeah, he's got the Penny Hardaway size up, the Kobe Bryant escape with the Pippen behind the back. So he's got some decent sigs. Jump shot 13. It's a decent release in game. So yeah, overall, I think Larry Johnson is just a very solid point guard. Michael Jordan. Now this isn't his invincible and this isn't his uh, hero version, but point guard MJ is still definitely going to be in that S tier category. We all know Jordan's still an absolute bucket in my team. So he's definitely going to be an S tier for me. Next point guard here is going to be Dark Matter Wall. I think he's going to be kind of similar to a guy like Iguodala. I think Iguodala is probably better, but I think John Wall is definitely better than a guy like Steph Curry. Next point guard here is going to be Danny Granger. And I think you could argue Danny Granger in A tier. Honestly, I think for majority of people, they're going to like Danny Granger and have more success with Danny Granger than a guy like Lonzo Ball. For me personally, who's better? Probably Danny Granger. Even though I love Lonzo and I think he's a really good card and really underrated, I still think Danny Granger is going to be the better point guard. He's just six foot nine tall with a seven foot one wingspan. He's going to pretty much have invincible type of stats. Literally, for all the important stats, has like almost everything above a 90. Gonna have really good Hall of Fame badges across the board. And then when we come to the animation screen, yes, he's not gonna have good dribble sticks. That's definitely a big flaw with the card. But I will say this jump shot 
is absolutely money. I love it on Drew Holiday. I love it on Danny Granger. So I think he's got a really good jump shot, really good player model. He's six foot nine. He can play the point guard position. I think for me, he's gonna be in that A tier category. Magic Johnson, I don't think he's as good as a lot of people say he is, but it's an it's an end game card. He's the only end game point guard in the game right now. He obviously has to be in that S tier category. He's a point guard, shooting guard, six foot nine tall with a seven foot wingspan. He's just gonna be a completely maxed out card stats and badges wise. 80 Hall of Fame badges, 99 every single stat. But that's not even the craziest part about these endgame cards. It's gonna be when we come to the animation screen, he's gonna have base three jump shot on very quick, the Kobe Bryant upper. He's got the Steph Curry leaner, which is insane on current gen. And then his dribble sticks are very good as well. Quick dribble style, Steve Francis size up. He has the curry escape, which means he can curry slide. He has a really good escape animation. And he's also got the Scotty Pippen behind the back. So I think it's a no brainer. I think Magic's gotta be in that S tier category. Next point guard is gonna be Jaden Ivey. This might surprise a lot of people. I do not like this Jaden Ivey card at all. I know a lot of you guys might think he's B tier and maybe even A tier. But on my tier list, I'm going to throw him in uh, C tier. But, but, but guys, you guys can let me know in the comment section down below. Like, let me know what you guys would change. Maybe you guys think Jay Ivey's B tier. Maybe you guys think he's A tier. Just let me know anything about the tier list. Let me know in the comment section down below. Next point guard is going to be Luka Doncic Invincible. Yes, he's not as good on current gen. But I still think he's probably the best point guard on next gen. Like this dude, Luka. I mean, there's only really one thing you need to know about the card. And if you've played this game for more than a week, you probably know why Luka Doncic is the best on next gen. He literally has the uncontestable jump shot. And when I mean uncontestable, I literally mean uncontestable. And they also gave the invincible Luka the quick dribble style and the Scotty Pippen behind the back. So yeah, all the Lukas, like the Dark Matter Luka, the Power Thin Luka, the Signed Luka, they would all be in S tier. I'm not going to have five Lukas on a tier list, but they would all be in that S tier category. Next point guard is going to be invincible Dwayne Wade. And I'm going to throw him in B tier. I think Dwayne Wade is actually the best point guard in... You know what? I'm gonna move Dwayne Wade up to, up into A tier. I love this D Wade card. He's a really good invincible. I think he's better than Lonzo and Larry Johnson. Next point guard here is gonna be Penny Hardaway. As much as I don't like the card, I don't think he's very good. Well, okay, he's he's a good card. Like we'll look at Penny Hardaway here on a uh, 2KDB. He's definitely a good point guard. Man, that jump shot though. If you guys don't know, this jump shot base 10. It is just so, so baited for a point guard. Like you just really don't want your main ball handler having base 10. And yes, his dribble six aren't that good either. So overall, Penny Hardaway really isn't that good. He's just going to be six foot, ten, uh, six foot seven tall with a six foot ten wingspan. So I think he's at least got to be in B tier. Next point guard is going to be Invincible Ben Simmons. Is he a top five point guard? He probably is, right? Yeah, Invincible Ben is probably somewhere in that top five point guards. Next uh, point guard here is going to be Johnny Davis. He's actually pretty solid, man. I'm going to throw him in B tier. Drew Holiday. As much as I do like the card, I think he's a great defender. I think at this point in the year, I think he's a little bit, not outdated, but I think guys like Lonzo, Larry Johnson, Penny Hardaway, Johnny Davis are all better than uh, Drew Holiday. LaMelo Ball, once again, people probably going to disagree with this, but I think a guy like Iguodala is better. Like if we look at LaMelo Ball, I just really don't think he has anything going for him. Now, if they give, an, if they give us an invincible LaMelo or an endgame LaMelo, then yeah, he might be one of the best point guards in the game. But right now, the only thing he gives you is, he, is that he's six foot seven tall with a six foot 10 wingspan. Other than that, he's not gonna be the best defender in the world. His stats and badges are decent, but then when we come to the animation screen, he's got a really slow jump shot, kind of baited, and then he just doesn't have good dribble six, not a good size up, doesn't have a good escape. Yes, he has the quick dribble style and the Pippen behind the back, but other than that, he really has nothing going for him. So I think Iguodala is a better point guard than LaMelo. Last point guard on the tier list here, guys, is gonna be Dark Matter Lance Stevenson. I just think there's a lot of these C tier point guards, but I'm gonna move Iguodala and I'm gonna move yeah, I'm gonna go Iguodala, just move him up into that B tier because I think Iguodala would definitely be the best point guard in C. But guys, let me know in the comment section down below. What would you guys change about my point guard tier list? Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to drop a like down below and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.